Hi y'all and welcome back to another video where today I'm actually building my real life apartment. Um, I was inspired to do this by a fellow Sims YouTuber, uh, Tori Fox, who did recently a, um, like a room build of her, like her bedroom or her workspace. Um, and so, you know, I was like, that'd be interesting. I'd like to actually build my um, actual real life apartment and all that kind of stuff. And I'm actually moving in a month, which is kind of crazy because that's earlier than we were anticipating moving, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. So, you know, no better time than the present to build my current apartment. Um, you can see that I am working on the outside. I put it on one of the penthouse um, lots. Now, obviously I do not live in a penthouse. If only one day, maybe we'll see. <laughs> but, um, because my apartment is obviously not going to be the same shape as any of like the Sims, um, pre-built apartments. So I put it on a penthouse so I could work and make sure that the shape, um, and all the different dimensions and everything was as close as I could get it. Um, you can see I'm working on this like little hallway thing that we have between our living area and, um, I guess like our bedroom bathroom area. And it was kind of hard for me to like figure out how that space was supposed was going to work in The Sims. And if you've ever tried to build something that is real into The Sims, then you know that it's really hard that like the tile system doesn't really work, obviously, because uh, measurements in actual houses are a lot more precise than just like these one tile wide things. So a lot of these spaces um, could stand to have like either be a half tile bigger or a half tile smaller or whatever, but them's the breaks, it's fine, it's no big deal, obviously. So um, I put the shape together and now I'm trying to figure out where the things in my hallway go outside of my apartment. And I originally thought, so I, I'm doing this based off of just what my apartment looks like. I don't have like a floor plan of my apartment. So I was trying to figure out where things went. And then I was looking at it and I was like, that elevator is too far away. Like in real life, the elevator is like literally right next to my doorway. It's really close. Um, and so I was like, well, there's no way that I could be all the way over there, like next to my bedroom. But uh, you'll see, I'm going to move it in a little while after I'm like trying to uh, get some things going and it's just kind of feeling a little weird. Um, the hallway that leads to the bedroom bathroom area, which you'll see later, but the, the part that leads to the two rooms is a little bit bigger than it actually is in real life. So in reality, the section of the hallway that leads into the bathroom, which is obviously the smaller of the two rooms, um, is actually like, isn't like one tile. It's only as wide as the doorway is, but if I did that, then my kitchen would have been way too big. Anyway, y you'll see what I mean. If you've ever tried to build something that is in real life in The Sims, you understand the struggle. So I think at this point, I've pretty much got the um, like basic structure of it down. I think I make a couple changes later on. And so I'm now I'm trying to get my kitchen together, which was a whole other issue. And I knew that my kitchen was going to be hard because my kitchen has a lot of really tiny little countertops. They're all like squished together and they're really small. And not a single counter in my entire kitchen is probably like a full size counter from The Sims. So it was it was not ideal. And then we also have a wall at the end of our counter as you can see that I have put in. So it kind of gave me like a limited space to work with where I couldn't just kind of fudge um, like an extra counter in there because there's literally a wall. <laughs> um, so this kitchen is definitely is smaller than my actual kitchen. Um, that counter on the right side of the fridge or not the fridge, the right side of the sink, um, is bigger than that. So it's, it's probably almost the size of a full tile in the game, give or take a little bit. Um, so it's a little bit smaller in the game. I, I am at like, it's probably like a half tile bigger. My, my whole kitchen is probably a half tile bigger in every direction, um, than it is in this game. But if I made it a full tile bigger, that means I would have had to make every other room a full tile bigger. And then it would have just been too big. It would have been too big. Um, so it was just too much. And so now I'm moving on into my living area, which also doubles as my dining area because it's a fairly small apartment. So there's not a lot of space. Um, and then I end up making this bigger because it was too small. I didn't have enough space for all of the stuff that we have um, on that wall. So... I had to make that a little bit bigger to fit our enormous cat tree for our beautiful kitty cats. 
obviously it's, it's very important um and so i'm kind of trying to find the different pieces in the game that actually match what we have in our apartment which is really difficult honestly when i was picking up the lights it was so funny we have these these lights in my kitchen they're kind of ridiculous honestly um they're really funny looking there's nothing in the sims like what i the lights i have in my kitchen that was the closest i could get and they don't even do them justice they're like little ovals they look like eggs they look like eggs that's what, yes they're really strange looking and there's like one small one and two big ones they're really weird but anyway so now I'm moving on into, I mean, it's still our living area, but it's like our creative area in our living area. Um, and this is the desk where I'm literally sitting right now. And you are listening to this. I'm, I'm sitting at that desk, um, which I don't put a chair at for like another five minutes. So, you know, it's fine. I Apparently I stand. I do not, but I apparently I do. Obviously right now that hallway looks really squished. I, it's not really that squished in real life. I guess our hallway is maybe like a tile and a half wide. Apparently my apartment is just not very well suited to being built in The Sims. <laughs> and trying to find art pieces that kind of match the art that we have on our walls was extremely difficult. It was so hard. Like there's just nothing in The Sims that looks anything like the art that we have on our walls. On it. Like nothing. None of it was the same. Um, and now I'm trying to build this tiny little bookshelf that we have right behind our couch. It's not attached to the couch, I promise. Um, but it's like a short bookshelf and it has like black metal, uh, what's it called? Like edges um, and then like a light wood, but it's really short. And so I just tried to kind of make it myself because we don't have any like short bookshelves in the game. They're all like tall, which I don't understand why, because there are definitely short bookshelves in this world, but whatever. Um, so now I'm moving on to the bathroom and... I put down, those are the only lights we have in our bathroom. Those like ones overneath the, overneath, over the sink. Um, I guess somehow in the real world, they make way more light than they do in The Sims because they make plenty of light for my bathroom, but it's fine. Um, and I'm putting the mirrors on the wall and then I end up putting another mirror on the side because we have one of those, I guess, what is it called? Medicine, um, blah, 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 blah. We have a medicine cabinet um, on like the side with mirrors in front. So... I had to include that because we have a lot of stuff in that medicine cabinet. Um, I was just kind of putting the bare essentials down because I do think that I might come back and make a couple changes to like the layout later. Maybe, I don't know. Um, you can see like off into the very right. Yeah, see, I, I made some changes to the bedroom. The right, those stairs there, that's not the, I just hit my mic. That's not the orientation of our stairs in our actual apartment building, but I wanted to make sure I had the stairs there. So I was like, okay, well, here are the stairs, which is right next to the elevator, which is right next to my door or whatever. Um, so, you know, it's fine. And I also realized that The Sims doesn't have a dresser that looks like my dresser. And I'm kind of upset about that. Like I was looking through and I was like, I have a pretty traditional looking dresser. It's like a tall, dark wood dresser. It has like six drawers, um, but it's tall, not wide. And I was like, I, I always thought that the dresser that I had was pretty normal or like simple. So I was surprised that I couldn't find a similar one in the game, but it's fine, I guess. Um, I'm pretty much finished doing like the basic furnishing of um, my bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than it should be. It probably should be like another half tile, like shorter from like the window. Um, and then maybe like a half to a quarter tile shorter from like the door in the closet to the bed, but it's fine, you know, it just makes my room look nice and awesome, I guess. I mean, not really, but it's fine. Um, we do have extra curtains in the bedroom. They don't really look like that. They're blue, but they, they match our bedspread much better than the ones in the game, but it's fine, you know. Um, I'm now cluttering up my bathroom cabinet or countertop because it's very cluttered. Um, I love makeup and so I have a lot of makeup on my countertop because we don't have a ton of storage uh, in our uh, bathroom, which kind of sucks. We only have three drawers and then like the whole cabinet space underneath. So, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, and now I'm building, so backstory, I have two cats, but um, we have one of those like, I guess it's like a litter box holder. Like, a, it, uh, like you put the litter box inside of it and there's a shelf on top of it so that like we don't have to see the litter box on like a daily basis or anything. But yeah, 
I don't really know how to make that in The Sims, so I use the covered litter box and then put those little shelves over it to like emulate the fact that there's like a covering over the litter box. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever, so you can just ignore that if I confused you. Anyway, the litter box is inside of another box. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Um, and now I am just putting on some of the finishing touches I needed to put our cat bed, which is next to our TV. It's our cat's favorite bed. It's big and plushy and we got it from Chewy. They love it. Um, and now I realize all of these furniture items are so big. Like our cat tree is pretty big, but it's not that big. And our lamp is not that big and our bed, our, our bedside tables, um, our like a couch side tables, that's whatever, are not that big. They're pretty small. So, uh, this, I've never ended a struggle of things in The Sims not being the right size. It's fine. Um, I'm just cluttering up our bookshelf. There's way more stuff on it, but I just didn't really feel like doing it, to be completely honest. I am trying to finish all of my finals and get my master's degree done and starting the moving process. And it's just a lot going on in my life. I didn't have time to do it. In this hallway is where we have the vent for our air conditioning and heat system. And we also have... Um, the electrical panel, I guess, or is that what that's called? Something like that. Yeah. But, um, I don't know if we really have anything like that in The Sims, or if we do, I just didn't really feel like looking for it, to be completely honest. So, it's fine. But I'm just putting on, um, a couple final touches, some decorations, and then I add a bin. No worries, there's a trash can in this build. Um, to be honest, this build is not playable, though, because of the kitchen, but it's fine, you know. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my apartment. <laughs> um, now you guys know what my apartment looks like. Congratulations. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.